As this heat wave continues in the borderland, you are probably making sure that you stay hydrated. However, did you know that drinking too much water in a short period of time can lead to what is called water intoxication that can be harmful? KTSM 9 News reporter Tawny Davis talked with a physician from Texas Tech about how you can avoid water intoxication. She joins us live in studio. Hi there, Tawny. Hey there, Carla. It is about what Robert says, 104 degrees right now. And if you have your family out and decided to go to a park, then you probably have bottles of water on hand to keep yourself hydrated. Well, according to the doctor that I spoke with from Texas Tech, there is such a thing as too much water. Water intoxication is a rapid intake of water within a few hours that ends up diluting necessary electrolytes in your bloodstream. That amount of water is usually over 100 ounces. There are symptoms to look out for, including confusion, lethargy, disorientation, nausea, and vomiting, which are the most common. It can also lead to more severe symptoms like a coma or even in some cases death. Dr. Colby Geinrich explains that while drinking water is important during this heat wave, there are alternatives. You can drink plenty of water, but also supplementing with some sports drinks that have electrolytes like sodium and potassium and sugar can often help, um, you know, not exacerbate water intoxication. Dr. Geinrich says that if you witness someone experiencing any of the symptoms of water intoxication, immediately call 911. Some of these symptoms can be confused with dehydration, which is the opposite of water intoxication. So having a medical personnel is important to, for that person's health. And we'll have more tips on how to avoid water intoxication and how much water you should be drinking daily later on KTSM 9 News at 10. Reporting live in studio, Tawny Davis, KTSM 9 News.